Hi there, just doing a quick tutorial about one of the uh, really important things to think about when you're doing any kind of video conferencing. Uh, I'm doing a lot of that at the moment through Zoom, um, as many of you may well be doing uh, client meetings um, through things like um, Microsoft Teams or um, uh, I've had recently had a go with WebEx, which is quite brilliant actually with a, a webinar I did for Lloyds Bank Academy. Um, but it's about eye contact. Very simple thing is that when we are doing things online, we get distracted by things on screen and we actually fail to make eye contact. It's something that I struggle with. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm recording my Zoom screen so I can demonstrate this because currently I'm looking directly at the webcam, which means I'm making eye contact with you. Um, and that's really important because if we're not looking at each other and you know when you're doing to camera it's it's not a case of you can maintain constant eye contact because uh, it's a recording it's it's different but what often happens is people will look at other parts of the screen either at themselves or at the person who is currently speaking on the video and that can be very distracting and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to look at myself so here's me um, and I'm going to look directly at me and what I'm not doing now is making eye contact. So it's I'm looking away from you. And, you know, if someone had a, you know, someone was speaking in a in the top right hand corner here because that's where their video panel was. And I was looking at the top right or top left hand corner of my screen to be looking at them again. I'm I am interacting with them because they're in the top left hand corner of my screen, but I'm not making eye contact. And it's very difficult because they will notice that, you know, I'm now back looking at the camera. Um, so what you want, particularly if you're leading a meeting or you're doing a webinar or a seminar or anything like that, you need to be aware of where you're looking because that engagement will be lost. And if you've got a room full of people that you're doing a webinar to, say I did one to about 80, 80 90 people yesterday. Um, if you're not looking at the camera, if you're looking away, you lose their attention. If you're looking at different parts of the screen, that can be very distracting. Um, so just a couple of tips very quickly um, to show you what you might want to do to help maintain eye contact. Um, the first one is a practical one. Uh, I've done this before in the past. I do actually struggle with this because I do want to look at people when they're talking. I want that top left hand corner. Um, but a little piece of blue tack or uh, maybe a little colored dot that you put next to the webcam. Um, my webcam has a little green light that tells me it's it's operating, which draws my attention. But that extra reminder of a little bit of blue tack, perhaps, um, is really very helpful. The other thing to do, um, very simply, is uh, I've made my mouse extra big for courses like this, but it does actually make it very different. Is to, oops, I hate it when it does that. There we go put the box that you're recording on at the top of the screen, just underneath where the webcam is. So that is currently sitting underneath the webcam. Um, so same kind of thing is if someone else is talking, is to drag their dialog box from the, if you can, from the top left-hand corner into the middle, just below the webcam. Now I am looking at myself and I am looking at, um, or I'm looking at the image of the person who's talking, but because it is directly below the webcam, it cheats the webcam. It cheats that person to think I, I'm making eye contact. Uh, and this is what I was doing for the course I was doing yesterday. I was minimizing stuff. Um, so having something to look at, whether it is the notes on the slides that I was delivering or whether it is some other form of icon that I would have something that would take my eye contact and take my attention. It is important because looking away at other parts of the screen. Now, if you're screen sharing and, you know, you're typing something and, you know, you're demonstrating something um, very simply. So I'm looking directly at myself at the moment. But as far as a video is concerned, I'm looking you know, directly at you. So it's it's a good cheat. This is it gives you something to look at, gives you some. Don't stare. Don't do that. That's going to really freak people out. Um, but if you're looking away occasionally to kind of uh, type something, but when you look back, you're making eye contact. So I'm doing this and I'm looking back at that person. And this is really important to maintain engagement. Absolutely critical. So do think about that. If you're going to be doing any kind of, of video conferencing, any kind of online training, seminars, meetings, whatever it might be, particularly if you're person chairing the meeting, the person in charge, make sure you've got a setup that means you're making eye contact and that eye contact can be constant. 
if I made this amount of eye contact to you face to face, you'd be feeling very, very uncomfortable, but it's different when you're doing this remotely. This is not staring, this is eye contact, this is no problem at all. And if you look at people on the television, um, news reporters, uh, they don't look away. They will be looking directly at the camera for the whole time. Because looking away, unless it's for a reason like, I'm just going to get, a, you know, I'm just going to type something on the computer, bear with me, and I'm doing this. If you start looking away, whether you notes or anything like that, it begins you people lose trust. They don't they don't take it as seriously. They think, why are they looking away? So again, if you have notes, it's a good idea perhaps to have them set up. I'm kind of gesticulating behind the uh, the laptop screen here, but perhaps have them on a stand or some work configuration where they are behind the webcam. So when you're looking at your notes, you're not actually getting too far away from that eye contact. Um, or you just say, just take up my notes, look down and look straight back up again. Make it obvious that you're looking at some notes because if you're talking and you're suddenly doing this and then going back again, that is, you know, what is it? Am I, you know, it, it is an indication of, of can be lack of confidence. It can be shifty. Um, so if you've got notes, either have them set up in a way that, you know, you can maintain eye contact or pick them up, have a look at them, and then look back again. It's obvious you've checked your notes, it's obvious you're looking up again, and as a result, it's going to be something that doesn't detract from the engagement that you're getting. So I just thought I'd put that out there because so many of us at the moment are doing this kind of stuff. My entire job has pivoted from face-to-face -face training where I'm talking to you know anything from four to 100 people in a room uh, through to being online, talking to, you know, 80 odd people, maybe even more as these, you know, these webinars take off um, and not actually being able to see any of them anyway, or, you know, interacting in a very different way. So this eye contact is a really important thing to get right, to build trust and engagement when you are doing any kind of online meeting. Um, so I hope that was useful. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you're seeing this on LinkedIn or Facebook, please give it a thumbs up or even better, a little heart, one of the um, emoticons that does so much better for your SEO. Uh, please leave a comment uh, or share it with people you might find interesting. And if you're watching this on Twitter, give it a retweet. And if you're having a look at this on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. Um, give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.